What's going on Jump Nation? It's your boy Rishi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. And today's episode, we're talking crossovers. I've got four amazing tips that I want to share with you to get you crossover. Crossovering doesn't make sense. <laughs> and in today's tutorial, I've got four amazing tips to get you smashing out crossovers with unbelievable speed and making them look slick as ever because that's what this channel is all about. Leave me some feedback, comment below, let me know if it helped you and we're going to get it as always. So, Let's do this. Right guys, welcome to the commentary. Tip number one is crossing at the elbows. A real firm favorite of mine and highly crucial to making sure we can hit these at speed and making sure we don't trip on the rope. So looking at slow-mo, you can see by crossing at the elbows, you can get maximum width of the rope and make sure that you don't really trip by letting it hit your sides. You can see here, look at my wrist position, always beside my body, making sure that the rope is wide as possible the moment you start crossing at the forearms or even by the wrist, which I see a lot of the time still, you're gonna trip, you're gonna make the rope too narrow and you won't generate a lot of speed. The second thing I wanna point out here with this slow motion linked to crossing at the elbows is just the flowing motion of my arms. I see a lot of people still quite stiff when they cross over. So they cross and uncross, their arms are very stiff. I want you to have a flowing motion. You can see here, my arms are still bending just have a nice action and this will just allow me to generate a lot of speed with the rope. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is all about wrist rotation or turning your wrist over as I like to call it sometimes. I want you to focus in on my hands in these two clips coming up. What you're going to try and do is when you're crossing the rope I want you to focus on pointing your thumbs behind you and then as you uncross bring your thumbs in front of you. So you're going to see it more clearly in the next clip just coming up right here so check out my thumb position here as it goes behind me you can see my wrist turning over and i'm actually generating more speed with the rope by doing this it just creates a nice revolution and if you had stiff hands you wouldn't be able to get any speed and it will look very awkward right tip three is all about caving in your posture so check out this clip you'll see that my upper body tends to tilt forward and what that allows me to do is make sure that I can cross closer to my legs and get a wide, wide loop because I'm able to actually cross at the elbow. If I was to stay upright, which I see a lot of people still doing, it won't allow me to get really wide crosses. It won't allow me to really cross at the elbows. It feels really stiff and very difficult and I can't generate a lot of speed. So just tilt your body slightly forward and that would help. Right, tip number four is a footwork drill that I'm about to give you. And this is really the business end of this move guys you get this bit right and you're well on your way to smashing this at speed so a lot of people go wrong with their footwork and their timing so the first tip i'm going to give you is just look at the rope check the rope in front of you get your hand eye coordination up to speed secondly i want you to count the numbers one two every time you cross and uncross just one two and then every time you do that you're just going to drop your feet down at the same time and that's just going to enhance your timing between your hands and your feet Try that, that usually works. The second thing you wanna focus in on, in on is driving your heels upwards towards the ceiling. So you're gonna use a lot of quad power, calves, um, just all your legs in general. The reason why this is important is because a lot of people will trip on the rope because they leave their heels lagging, i.e. their heels are not being driven up enough behind them, which makes the rope basically trip on them. So check out my heels here, always driving up towards the ceiling. I'm flexing those knees as quick as possible and trust me you will smash this if you get this bit right right guys so there you have it hopefully this tutorial helped you and you're able to get to this type of level when you're skipping it's going to take a lot of practice you, you may not get this overnight don't let it get to you don't give up if you can't get it done keep at it practice 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 this took me months guys i was pretty much obsessed to making sure that i could get this smashed out and get it done correctly so I hope you have that same determination. But before I leave it there, I just wanna make sure you're jumping with the right type of rope. To execute this type of move, you need to make sure you're jumping with a vinyl, plastic, boxing type of speed rope. So refrain from using the wire steel ropes, really thin, or with mechanisms attached to the end of the rope for revolution. Um, the leather type of ropes, weighted handles, weighted ropes. These are all great if you wanna change up the type of training, but in today's episode, we're just talking about fast advanced crossovers so getting them done at speed so make sure you've got the right rope i told you i'm going to be releasing those ropes very soon so comment below if you're interested in having one um, and i'll get that right to you and i'll let you know as soon as it's out so as always appreciate the love and support you guys have been amazing 
continuing to inspire me to get more and more videos out there and to help grow the movement. Subscribe, comment, leave some feedback as always, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. So, look after yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. All the time.